here it is on the lock screen. This is what happens when you uh, come to Windows. That's my son on there. And uh, when you start, you have your own personalized screen that gives you a little bit of information about uh, what your computer's been doing while you've been away. And to get into Windows, you just swipe up from the bottom, go into login, and this is Windows. And this is where you come after you start Windows. It's the new start screen. So no longer do you go to a blank desktop. Uh, you come into where all your programs are, a series of live tiles that tell you all kinds of information about what's been going on since the last time you were in here. Um, you can arrange. It looks a little bit like, like Windows oh, Phone. It does. Um, definitely, Microsoft developed its own kind of design style, and we worked with the phone team to learn the best of the things that they were but doing. But it's running. Client. This is full Windows. This is full the, Windows. The user experience here is some will remind people of Windows. Absolutely, Phone. it's a family feel across Microsoft, and our, we have a real close knit design community that that shares ideas. Did you did you like what was happening on the phone to do that, or what absolutely. was absolutely. We've also just reimagined it for the form factor, for the larger screen, and be able to take advantage of more space. So the live tiles can tell you a little bit more detail. Right. You can also do um, more rearranging and organizing and grouping. Can we get that, can we get that tiles back up? Back on up? The screen? Yeah. Let's get oh. it to, okay. Great. Okay, so here I am. Just all my programs wow. I want to use. I'm going to go ahead and click on the weather here, and it's going to take me right into an immersive, uh, full-screen, tailored application. So this application is part of, uh, written with our new developer platform which is uh, based on HTML5 and JavaScript. So uh, I don't think that captures just how cold it How was cold it is, yesterday. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My hands are freezing. I know. <laughs> and so uh, people can write new applications for Windows using the things that they, they are doing already on the internet. So I'm going to swipe in from the right-hand side here, turn to the side, and go back to the start screen. And this is where you go just to get back and forth between your that programs. That thing you did on the right-hand side, is that a universal way of getting back That's to That's a universal way of getting back. So, so here, I'll no show button. you. there's no button. There's not going to be a button on the screen? No, it's just swipe in from the side. So here we are. Uh, actually, that doesn't look too good right there. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't, no. So and the platform has all been redesigned for touch. So all the things that you'd normally expect for developers to do to create a touch experiences here. So I'm going to swipe in again from the right, bring that back up. Go back what, what over. Are the other so no more start button down here. No, um, no more task bar. There, this is the replacement for the start menu, definitely. So what else was on that thing on the side? On the side, uh, you'll have to come to our developer conference in September to find oh, out more. About thank that. you. I can't wait. <laughs> what do you call that uh, bar on the side? We haven't named it yet. Firestorm. Just call it the side. Windows Windows 8 thing. Windows 8 the, bar the, on the, the side. The Windows 8. Bar. Yeah, this is what I mean. But this is why you're not in the gang of four. Okay, Those I'm special sorry. name things. What else things was there? Really what else was there? Go back over it again. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to start video here really quick. And, um, I give you know, up. <laughs> uh, if I go back over it, there. So it's search. I'm not going to sit there too long. Right. Search, share, <laughs> share. start, setting. connect, setting. Kinetic. We have a whole settings. developer conference that's going to talk about All right. how to build Yeah, I know, but. These people aren't going to be there. We like to do things <laughs> first. Now I'm going to go ahead and start some video and oh. start playing that. And now our whole goal was to really make the system fast and fluid. So here I am running different programs. If I want to switch between them, I just swipe out from the left-hand side, switch quickly between them. Whoa. If I want to do two things at once, I can snap to either side. I can continue switching while I watch my movie. Wait, what was that, mm. snap? Uh-huh. It builds on Windows 7 Snap, where you could slide things over. That was one of Julie's things. Right, yes. Yeah. And so you can do two things at once very easily. Um, and yeah. I can just drag it off, Handsome. go back to full screen, and stop. So if you don't have a tailored application uh, for what you're trying to do, you always have Internet Explorer to get to all the things that you want to do on the Internet. And we've redesigned Internet Explorer to be a touch-first experience. So here I am scrolling the Wall Street Journal homepage. Does the Wall Street Journal always come up first? Yeah, it's well, the default homepage. Well, on my machine, now. it always comes yeah. up first. All right. <laughs> this, is, this is all of IE. This I'll is all of digital. Internet. Nice. <laughs> all right. I'll change it. This is all of Internet Explorer 10. Too, After right? today. So, yeah. this is, uh, oh, this is IE 10? This is Internet Explorer 10. I'm going to swipe up from the bottom and get the user interface uh, for Wait, switching between tabs. Wait, you swipe tabs up from the side to get the thing. To and get back to the front, right. between applications on the left, and from the bottom to get the UI so for the application. So one of the big deals in IE9, or I guess the big, big deal, was the idea that you could put your sort of bookmarks in the taskbar. Yes. That's gone because no, you're you, changing all this. You can put them in the start screen and on the taskbar, which we'll get to in a second. All right. So here I am swiping up the bottom. I can click in, get the on-screen keyboard. It has some familiar things that you're probably used to from using Windows. If I press the Control key, I get the Control X, Control C, Control V kind of shortcuts. I get arrow keys, which 
just super nice thing to be able to type, go in. And I also um, can switch my keyboard to different styles of keyboard, either the pen keyboard or the split screen keyboard. So when you're using a, a, a slate or tablet-like device, it makes it very easy for you to thumb type like you would on the phone and walk around and be mobile uh, while you're typing. So I'm going to go ahead and type. Julie, is this like about a 10-inch screen here? This is a 10.6-inch screen. It's uh, 720p, uh, 1366 by 768. Very bright, uh, high quality test machine. Perfect for uh, HD video, uh, 16 okay. by 9 aspect ratio. So you have a split keyboard, which I'm not sure I've ever seen on a tablet. That's interesting. I'll turn on the there. So bit, now we'll go back over. And um, so I showed you new style applications, right. showed you web pages. But you're probably wondering, Stephen talked about, what about other Windows applications that I might know or, and, or things that my comp company has built that I need to use? So here I am, uh, with all the things that you can use on Windows or that you want to use and the things that you love to use are here in the start screen. So here I have uh, Office, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, et cetera. I can go ahead and click to Excel, and I have the desktop. So just uh, like you would expect, everything about the there desktop is here. There it is again. Here. It's back. So if I go to Word. I like the other pretty one. Yeah, it's like the, yeah. now we're in regular Windows. Regular Windows. Well, we're in Windows all the time. Yes, Stephen, and I know. this is the Windows that you see in Windows 7. <laughs> but you made, yeah, I see. Yeah, okay. but you made it pretty. So here's all. Uh, so why didn't the office, this, seriously, if you're really going to this bold new color outside the lines design and it's you're part of your whole design ethos and design family, why didn't the office team write, rewrite office into that kind of approach? Well, they may do some things in the future, but um, we don't think people should have to give up everything they know and love okay. just to get to a more mobile phone form factor. So people can uh, plug in a mouse and keyboard this and is, use it just is, We're like, hearing their ad campaign. <laughs> this is what it's going to be. Just like they would otherwise. So here I am. I'm in the uh, uh, very much improved uh, touch interface. I go back into Excel and uh, dock this up at the top of the screen. I'm just grabbing it in the wrong spot. Um, but the new style applications can also get all the access and facilities of Windows, too. So it's not like a choice you have to make between two shells. It's not two shells. It's just one shell. So if I go back to my Twitterama application, uh, this, Twitter -rama. Is, this is our own little, all these apps I'm showing you are just sample applications that we've built uh, based on our platform. Um, so here I am in my tweets. I'm going to go ahead and do a little post and say, this is a demo. Go click on the file system. And we have a fully redesigned uh, access to all the parts of the file system. So in my application, you, if you want to, go ahead and Last time you got so mad when I touched something. Well, I know, it's we're working better now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I you screwed up. Went all the way over there. That's all right. all right. We'll go back. I'm lost. There you go. Yes. All right. OK. And so you just click to select, put things in the basket down here. Of course, I can get to anything the basket, that's this along one. the yeah. bottom. Mm -hmm. yeah. And get to anything on this computer or anything over the network. And then also new for Windows 8 is a way for applications to present their information. So if I um, had, a, a say, a photo service, and I wanted to get files or photos from that to put into my Twitter feed, I could go to my photo feeder application. And everything that I have access to or other things that my friends have posted are right here. So instead of leaving my application and going back to another application, I can just do it all in one place. And then your basket can contain as many different files from different locations as you want. So I click Import there and click Post. And there I'm posted. So it's very easy to switch back and forth between uh, the different things. I have this. Uh, I can go back and forth to the desktop and go back. Can you expand that so it's uh, like full, full screen? screen? Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, wow, OK. And so I can just quickly go back uh, between different things here. I can work in my uh, Twitterama app. I can type in Excel. I can go back, choose another one, go back to Excel. And if I want to see them side by side, I'll just pull it out. And now I can do both at the same time. And how would you use other apps on this? Existing apps. In other existing apps, you use just the same way. You go to the start screen and choose what application you want to run, and it comes up and you run. So there's not a separate applications thing here. It's just like these tiles can be anything. They can be anything. Anything. And any, the user can organize them it, how, you however You can organize she wants. them however she or he wants. You can group them. You can have small icon, large icon. You can get lots of live information and notifications or not have notifications. It's all under your control about what's in here. And it's all the things that you know and love in a kind of a fast and fluid. So you could, if, for instance, if you're really a, um, uh, uh, more of a social networking person, this could be all social networking. Things. Right. If you were interested in you know, yeah. ha having your, your 
all your news in one place. Or all your news, or all your favorite apps. You know how people right. today, despite all your great efforts at finding ways to organize things, people cover their desktop Absolutely. with shortcuts. Right, and so you can organize it and group it and, and play around with it however you want. Your company can uh, put the things that can your company I? wants to look. Yeah. What's so, piano? Not very many in there. What is piano? Um, is that an app? I think we turned the t tile off. Maybe no, we didn't. It's another uh, sample application that we, we built. But, but this isn't just for, so I say it one more time, this isn't just for uh, tablet OSs or touch first uh, devices. It works touch first and everything about it works first. And application can, developers can write their applications for touch, but then if it's a machine with a mouse and keyboard, like this one over here, is both touch and a mouse and keyboard, uh, it works just the same way. So if I touch, I can log right in here. Um, and we do the work to make sure that mouse and keyboard works as well as it does with touch, so, that, so the developer doesn't have to think about what kind of their thing they're doing. So designing. you can use the keyboard with it. Yeah, so this, this is a Lenovo X220T, which is actually also in the, the science fair. And it's a brand new tablet PC that does both ink and, and everything. But it's a Windows 7 machine. Actually, all four of these are Windows 7 machines. So and so they're all the running the, the builds of Windows. This one happens to do t the first three of them happen to do touch. Um, and we also have a Dell Duo, which is a small format <coughs> convertible slate and right and here. Yep, right as well. This but is that, that's the that's the one with the screen, screen that pops, screen, yeah. pops out. I'm not, yep. but it doesn't have to be a touch screen necessarily. No, no. in fact, the, well, the, the, the next one is a touch only device, which is the EP124 EPad, mm -hmm. and uh, it's touch very only. good name also. Yeah. yeah. Well, the, the one of the things that, that I had nothing to do with that name. I know, Stephen. I know. Nothing at all. I know. <laughs> but but uh, the thing that's also neat is all of Windows is here. So if you wanted to plug in a keyboard, a Bluetooth keyboard, you get and a, a keyboard experience, or a, and a mouse, you get the keyboard experience like you would with a laptop. All the arrow keys work, the control keys work. It's a, a full experience. The one in the end is just the new Samsung that a lot of folks have been talking about, the Series super thin, nine. Series 9, second generation. And it has no touch screen at all. But keyboard as a primary interface with arrow keys and a, and a mouse is oh. just so fine. So hundreds of millions of PCs will run Windows 8, just like with Windows 7. Hundreds of millions. So doesn't matter if it's touch or not touch. Again, I'm curious why you why aren't you changing Office also all the rest of them to in this design paradigm? Because it's a it's a sh huge shift in. This is a, this is the biggest shift. Well, well, well we a left small the Office part. Table. We both yeah, left we don't it work done. In Office. So anymore. we're on okay. Windows now. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> if you're looking for the whole experience, the, the idea of everything's changed. I sort of was looking at this very beautiful screen and went, oh, the ugly old house is back. You know, <laughs> I mean, kind of thing. Why not switch the whole thing? Because being she designed the ugly old house. Actually. I know. Yeah, I know. I don't no, think no, no, what I mean is, I mean, this is a whole different look. This is a whole different thing you're doing. Why not make everything? Because well, Bing fits into this. There's nice a lot thing. of utility in existing Office around uh, running macros, macros, and doing things that take keyboard-intensive right. time. And I'm right. sure that the Office left. team is going to uh, will look at what we're doing. Right. And it's all now. It's all just right. jarring. It's a jarring shift. So this, but you 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 expect these to be used more on these kind of things or these. You, your choice. Which, which was it? The whole Windows itself? Yeah, which one? Where do you expect this to be more popular? She means regular can, yeah. mouse driven things Anything. or touch driven things? I think or it's tablets that's, or laptops or. I think that's the only choice that a customer has to make is what kind of machine works yeah. for their utility, whether they want something that they can Well, there's still with. other operating system choices, sure. I should point out. So they're. Right, once we, once, once we get them in the door, <laughs> then all the choices of all the different PCs. And I think that that's a, a super important thing because it's right now you see the sort of weird world of like aftermarket products to try to turn it into a laptop or try to add it, a keyboard to it or peripherals if you didn't like the camera that came with it you wanted one with higher definition you wanted to use a particular printer or a scanner or anything that's out there all of those things continue to work and there'll be new ones and 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 all sorts of scenarios and this scales from about an eight inch uh, screen using today's current DPI and all the way to wall sized displays and whether you have a a touch grid overlaid over it or, or you're using a mouse and a keyboard.